at that young age having that kind of um, having those wins, man. Mm-hmm. How did that impact your young mind? You had already been in the game and in the industry, you know, jamming and doing what you do. Mm-hmm. But now we're talking about, you know, selling records now and really your song on BET, right. on the radio nationwide. As a young man, did any of that go to your head at that time, man? Nah, because I was like, I was a kid. So, yeah. you know, my thing is like, to be honest, is like, when it took off, mm-hmm. oh, I had a fifty thousand dollar Tahoe paid for, and mm-hmm. didn't even have my license. My God, brand new. Yeah, Tahoe Limited. <laughs> like for real, like brand yeah. new, fifty thousand dollar paid for. Yeah, couldn't even drive it because mm-hmm. I was, and then I wasn't going to. I didn't have no license. Yeah. So when Drama was blowing up, and he was, you know, when he did have his time to go do show, I was still in the studio perfecting my craft. Yeah. It was like, okay, now I got to do R and B. Yeah. And then they sent me say the last dance and Pootie Tang. So I'm like, they sending me VHS test tapes with Pootie Tang and 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 say the last dance, and I'm like. What don't supposed to do with this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're like, you supposed to put the music to it. So I just sat, I sat for like a year, mm-hmm. and you can ask my partner DJ Blue. Yeah. Um, Blue Boy, you know him when you see him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I sat in the house for like DJ a year. DJ Blue used to be at the bounce all the goddamn time. I know exactly yeah. who you talk about. I used to be with him. My God. Yeah. Pop Locking. I, yeah. I used to battle <laughs> Bounce Master J all the time. <laughs> Whoop his ass. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yo, Jesus, Jesus thought it would be him with fighting. We finna fight one day. We was at the bounce. <laughs> he tell the story, but it's so funny when he tell the story. Yeah, because he'll start doing what I was doing and shit. <laughs> he's like, he's like, man, we went to the bounce one day. Saw the guy on the stage, him in blue, and then a crowd of niggas just <laughs> gathered around him, and they start. It was a circle and he started doing this shit. But it's funny when Jesus do it. And he started doing the, the moves. Yeah, the moves. And he yeah. was like, I'm finna shoot somebody. <laughs> These niggas bust out dancing the shit. <laughs> Breaking it in real life in this thing. For real. And it's funny when he tell it though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah we used to be at the bounce all the time. Say the last dance though. Now we scoring movies. Mm-hmm. Now you 12 years old. Scoring a whole mm-hmm. damn movie in this motherfucker shouting. <laughs> what? <Well, laughs> I wish. I wish. So you scoring the movie in this thing. You got <laughs> Pootie Tang and Say the Last Dance. Mm-hmm. What was that like when you stuck? Did you feel any pressure? Now they talking about shout to do a movie. I did. I did because they sent me. They sent me all of them at one time. Yeah, it was a rush because they flew me to. Uh, I was signed to E Two Music at the time. So. Yeah. So Babyface and his wife, they flew me. Mm-hmm. To California, and they gave me my drama plaque. Mm. Like I, I was in some radio magazine. I, I'm still trying to find it. Yeah. But it was me, Babyface, and his wife. Yeah. They presented me with the plaque, and then they put me in the studio mm-hmm. to record the song because I'm they I'm they headlining artist. Yeah. And they put put me in the movie, so yeah. I had to go for it. So it was like that. Mm-hmm. It was like, nah, we need you to do this now. So they just kept me doing LA for, for like weeks. You know what I'm saying? Then they just put my my music in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then it was Pootie Tang. I, I thought that Pootie Tang was a joke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, they playing with me now. Yeah. And then when they sent me, they sent me a movie with Eddie Murphy and Robert De Niro to do the scope. So it was a lot of pressure. And then at the time, it was like I was falling out with the uh, production company I was with. You know. God damn, Shada, you were doing the most. <laughs> yeah, so I, I was like. You were too young to be doing all that, Shada. I, I was CEO of the company, too. So I was falling out with them because they kind of felt like, they kind of felt like I was getting too old and I, I was cussing. You know what I'm saying? I was becoming grown. Yeah. And they didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? I was cussing in the work. I get it. Yeah. You know, I respect it now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I didn't respect it then because, yeah. you know, I was. You From know, the three, A. Three City Mafia, my, you know, Three City Mafia, my family. Like, Come on. So, you know, I'm, I'm when I rap, I'm doing some Three City Mafia. Exactly. You're trying to hit a motherfucker. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Some Lil John. Like, I'm, exactly. I'm on some stuff like that. So, 
uh, it was like, nah, it's not politically correct because you young. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I was just like, man, so I, I got it, you know, later on eventually. You know what I'm saying? So we parted ways and then that's why I didn't do the other two films because they would have got a percentage. Okay, shout it. What I'm trying to understand is you were growing up doing all of these, man. This is a formative years in a child's life that you experiencing all of this major ass shit. Right, right. So, you know, I have no choice but to think that you was a young ass Michael Jackson out here. How the hell did you keep your mind right? What was that like maturing through all of that? My man? grandma, man, like, you know, R.P. Miss Magdalene. Yeah. You know. Um my grandma was like, my grandma got me out of foster home. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So, um, you know, that's how I came back to Atlanta. Yeah. My dad, military. Okay. So I, I, we travel a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So my mom's side is from, from the West Coast. Uh -huh. And my dad is from, from right here. Yeah. So uh, I went through the, the, the custody battle thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then my daddy got custody of me. He he Marine, so we didn't get along. And uh, the nigga never came and got me out of juvenile. Mm. <laughs> was still in, I was still in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he never came and got me, so they took custody away from me. Damn. And my grandma got me. And, yeah. And they brought me back down here. Okay. So when she got me, it was a whole nother experience. Yeah. You know, she taught me so many things, and she showed me morals. and. You know what I'm saying? And she believed in my music. Yeah. She believed in my poems when I was writing poems. Yeah. She would read me her poems. And we were sleeping on the couch. Yeah. And I was like, I can't do that because I, I just came from military housing. Yeah. Ain't got to cut grass. Yeah. Electricity free. Yeah. It's carpet. I don't know nothing about hardwood flow. Like, what is this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now I love hardwood flow. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So it was new to me. So I had to adapt. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, go down there. Uh, my grandma washing machine was in the basement. All yeah. you see these big old spider crickets. <laughs> yeah. You know what, what those spider about? crickets yeah. is? I know what you're talking so about. A lot of people, when you tell somebody We call them hopping bugs. Man, I call it the spider cricket. They be like, what's a spider cricket? Motherfucker, it be a big, it be a million you know, of Imagine million. a grown man on all fours jumping up and down on your ass. Man. <laughs> and I, I couldn't stand this, so I was like, man, I gotta make some money. I gotta do something. Goddamn hopping bugs. Yo. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yo, but, but um, what you finna say? Who put that damn piano in your hand? And did you learn that or did you just wake up and say, you know what, give me the goddamn keys, mama? Nah, my mama, my mama used to, um, when my dad and my mama separated. Okay. My mama used to mess with this dope boy mm -hmm. when, when we was in Tennessee. Yeah. When we was staying in Greenbrier Apartments. Okay. You know, cause my dad was, they was stationed there. You know, yeah. he was militant. So um, when they separated, my mom started dating this dope boy. Yeah. And he bought me a Casio keyboard. Them damn Casio. And he started, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I still got one with the little turntable. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he got me one of those and he was showing me, you know what I'm saying? He was showing me how to play. So he, did he know how to play? Nah, or? he was just, nah, he was just, the only thing he taught me how to play was, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So he, you know, he he bought me that and told me that, and then when um my mom couldn't afford to stay in Memphis no more, yeah, her you know my grandfather, and my grandmama came, they drove all the way from the West Coast, picked us up, damn, and drove us back, damn, and you know that my uh grandfather pastor, yeah, so I had to you know I started playing piano in the church, okay, okay, you know what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, and they hone them damn skills. I was trying to do drums in the church, but I was, I was, I, I embarrassed some people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I can't, I can't, uh, I can't play an instrument and, and sing or rap at the yeah, same time. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? I feel I you. wish I could, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'd be out there like Zaytoven if I could do it. <laughs> but I can't. You know what I'm saying? I've been practicing, been trying to do it, but, you know. 